Welcome to Laguna Peron. Most people who come to Laguna Peron typically come on a tour and only spend about two hours at the lake. But we did not want to have only limited time here at Laguna Peron, so we rented some trucking gear and we are hiking to the end of the lake and camping there overnight. If you saw our video from last week, then you know that we are currently traveling Peru with our friend Crosby. And she will be joining us again today on this overnight camping truck. Woohoo! Follow her on YouTube if you don't already. <laughs> <laughs> Vamos! <laughs> Alex is holding our tent and all three of our sleeping bags. So. And the cooking gear. Oh, you're holding the cooking gear now too? Yep. Oh, and the gas, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's holding the majority of the stuff and we're very grateful for him. So thank you, Alex. You're welcome. This hike is honestly pretty easy. The main reason why we are doing it is to sleep at high altitude to better prepare us for some mountain climbing next week. We also thought it would be a great idea to show you that there is another way to experience Laguna Peron. I spoke too soon about the easy part. Apparently we have some scrambling to do and it's very steep, Crosby just said. So let's go see. Easy peasy for Mr. Alex. Okay. The color of the water here is absolutely insane. We keep stopping every like two seconds to just admire it. And Drew's obsessed with turquoise, <laughs> so I think she's getting her fix. I am. This is probably one of the most beautiful turquoise lakes I've ever seen. Did I match the water? I so does Alex. <laughs> you guys both do. Come to a little bump in the road. There's two different paths, but we are unsure which one leads to the campsite. One of them is extremely steep and it looks like it goes over a mountain, which we're not supposed to go to. And then the other side, there's no path. So currently Crosby is going by the water to figure it out and Alex is up top trying to see if it will lead anywhere, but let's hope they figure it out. So we have run into a little bit of a problem. We have been using our All Trails app and it has been guiding us beautifully, but we have come to a spot where there is no way for us to pass over. And the only way for us to get to the lake that we were supposed to camp at is to pass over this way. So right now, Alex is trying to see if there's another path that we can go to. But if not, we think we will just camp on Laguna Peron. This route is just on the side of a cliff. It's not the correct route on all trails and it's a little sketchy going up. So I think we're just gonna call it quits and turn around and find a campsite at Laguna Peron. Like somewhere here. There's not a lot of rocks. It's fairly flat. You think it's a good spot? I, th I think it's a good spot. It's like not as flat as I would want it to be, but it's flatter than what we've been seeing. And there's not a lot of rocks. All right. So we'll attempt. We found a spot and now it is time to set up our tent. I've never done it before, but I think you guys have. So hopefully we'll do it right. We just finished setting up the tent. It is not perfect, but it will do for the night. Now we are going to set up our stuff on the inside of the tent and I think probably start making some dinner because we're all super hungry and tired. If you were wondering where we rented all this amazing gear from, we got it from David and Maria who own the trekking company yeah. in Oraz called Quechua Andes. They're our Airbnb hosts and they are amazing so we highly recommend you check them out. We'll link all the information down below. We just finished setting up the inside of the tent. I'm feeling pretty beat, to be honest. I think we're sleeping the second highest Drew and I have ever slept. And uh, yeah, you can feel it for sure. Also, it's raining and we gotta cook. Not to complain or anything, it's beautiful here. <laughs> but someone's gotta cook in the rain. So. We're just heating up food though, so it's yeah. not like that much. Yeah, we don't have to like prepare yeah. food. And you're sleeping on a rock. Yeah, I didn't wanna say that. I don't want to complain. <laughs> <laughs> You're complaining. It's okay. 
thank God it stopped raining. So now I'm going to cook some food. Well, I guess I'm just warming it up, but... Yeah, you're not cooking. <laughs> Regardless, I got to make the food or warm it up, whatever. <laughs> but I'm hungry, so let's get after it. After that beautiful sunset, it is now time for us to go to sleep. We are exhausted and have to be up extremely early in the morning to do something super fun on Lake Padon before all of the other tourists get there. We're super excited, but we'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How'd you sleep, Alex? I slept fantastic, actually. This rock is really comfy right here. <laughs> It really? con contours to my body. <laughs> There's a rock in the ground? Yeah, I'm laying on a bunch of rocks. <laughs> I didn't sleep that great. My body hurts so bad. Same. <sighs> and yeah. I, we also had to pee like every hour. Yeah. yeah. I kept looking. I, I remember I woke up and I looked at the clock. It was nine. And I was like. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Same. <laughs> I was like, when did we go to bed? <laughs> So and I kept waking up any time <laughs> someone had to go to the bathroom because the zipper it was so yeah. loud. So I think we're all excited to get back to our beds tonight. At least it was warm. Yeah, it was warm. It wasn't cold. Yeah. By the way, if you are wondering how we have been getting fresh drinking water, we bought these water purification tablets in the city of Horaz. And basically you just put one tablet per one liter of water and then you fill it up with a lagoon water. So I'm going to do that right now so we can get some water. Making some morning coffee and then I have to make breakfast too. We got some oats, which will actually be pretty nice. We are eating like kings. We have some bananas, some peanut butter, and some cinnamon for the oats. So it's definitely gonna refuel us this morning. Yeah, I'm hungry. After struggling to put the campsite away for about an hour, we are finally walking back to the beginning of the trail, and hopefully we can make it back there before the tour buses get there. So that's that's the goal. It started raining. Hopefully it stops soon because yesterday was such a beautiful day, and we wanted to be able to take the kayaks into the lake with the beautiful view of the mountains. But I guess we'll see. Fingers crossed that it stops raining. Well guys, the rain finally stopped and just in time for all these freaking tour buses to get here. Yeah. It's literally a zoo. <laughs> Our plan to avoid the tourists didn't really work, but luckily we have about three hours until our taxi <laughs> yeah. comes, so hopefully we'll be okay. Yeah, it's like a wave. They come and then they leave and they come. Yeah. But look at this. Look how many buses. It's, it's disgusting. <laughs> look at all those chickens. If you guys want to experience Laguna Peron without the tourists, then you definitely got to do it the way we did. Except we pray that you have oh, better weather. <laughs> it's a big incline right now. We are going to the Laguna Peron Mirador. So. Hopefully there's not too many people at the top, but. There's so many on this route. It looks like a bunch of ants. <laughs> Look at that. About 20 minutes later and we made it to the top, but there are so many people here. So if you want to avoid that, definitely do it the way that we did and camp and then try to make it here very early in the morning. And pray that the weather yeah. is in your favor. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Unfortunately, that wasn't the case for us, but it's still gorgeous here. Yeah. Now we are going back down this little viewpoint to get in one of the boats and take it to the middle of Laguna Paron. like that our time at Laguna Padon has come to an end. It was such a beautiful experience. We had so much fun and if you want to come here without all of the tourists 
then you need to do what we did too. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. We'll Bye. see you next, next week. week.